Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. As you know, r square is the explanatory power of the explainability of a recess model or recess framework. Once we develop a recess framework or recess model and then design questionnaire accordingly, and subsequently we distribute questionnaire and collect the data. Once we key in the data in a software and run multiple regression and found our R square to be low. So for example, if your, our, our R square is 30% as compared to previous researches, which have documented an average R square of 50 to 60%, obviously there are reasons for researchers to get audit. So there are a number of ways we can increase or improve the R square. Number one, if your record sample size is 386 and your R square is 30%, what you can do, you can distribute another 50 and collect back the responses and key in and run the multiplication. With 450, if R square increase a bit, but there's no increase of R square, what you can do, you can distribute another 50 and make your sample size as 500 and run the multiplication again. Most of the cases, you may see an increase of R square. If this method doesn't work, then you have to proceed to the next method. Number two, by dropping variables. In your framework, if you have five independent variables and one dependent variable, and say, for example, you found your three independent variables have significant impact on the dependent variable and other two do not have any effect. So looking at the p-values, you may drop one independent variable that was not significant and rerun the multiplication. You may see an increase of R square. If this method doesn't work, then you may have to proceed to the next method, the third one. This method could be painful and time consuming. You have to drop the variables that were not significant and then you add two new variables. And then you design questionnaires again, you distribute again, collect the data, key in, and run multiple regression again. Most of the cases, this method works very well. Now, if you do not want to go through that painful and time-consuming process, you may follow the fourth one. This method, of course, requires you to be an expert in SPSS or at least very good in SPSS. In this video, I'm going to show you how can you increase or improve your R square without increasing the sample size, without dropping or adding variables. Of course, this method is tactical and technical. So be with me until the end of this video and learn how can you increase the R square. Thank you. So one uh, query I had, I mean clarification. Yeah. So as you told that increasing the explanatory variables can increase the explanatory power of the model, we can say. So on the other hand, there could be the effect that it can have a multicollinearity problem in that case. Not really. Uh, the R square may not be uh, affected because of multicollinearity. May not be. because it could it could increase the. Uh, dependence of the explanatory variables between among them we can say yeah so uh, um, so so what could be the remedy in that context because uh, on the one hand we have to increase the r square on the other other hand there we are facing the problem of our, i mean dependence between the explanatory uh, variables so it could like be a trade off yes of yes problem. yes brother Saya, it's, it's a very good point um, remember earlier when we say case wide diagnostic to identify whether you have outliers or not right if you take out the outliers, the R square will increase dramatically. Okay, but not on yes, the multicollinearity, but there could be, there could be some effect. I'm not very sure there could be, but uh, uh, what is time now? Uh, okay, let me quickly show you one. Okay. Uh, all right, let me run it. You just see it. Please don't copy. Uh, just see it how I do it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to force, uh, if you look at here, the, okay, here, can you see these two? Uh, bit out of the train, right? 
the normality. Yes, sir. These two are out of yes, the sir. train. There are three responses out of the train. I want to take them out. So how can I take them out? So I go to run regression. Please don't do it. Just follow it. Uh, just follow it. Okay, I go here. Then I go to uh, statistics. And you can see outliers. The standard deviation was three, right? I yes, put sir. it as 2.8. Possibly these two will be out. Let me see. Don't run it. Just see I run it and whether I can capture these two. Yeah, I captured already one. Can you see here? 16. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 16 is outlier now with 2.8. Huh? I did you say a bit. That's how we can improve that is fair. Huh? Just to show you. Now I'm so, going to drop so that so so that that reflects that we have to decrease. I mean we have to decrease the uh, I mean we can see variability in the data as you decrease it yes. from three yes. to two point something. Yes, yes. So yes. on uh, this, but do this not reduce indicate... too much. Do not reduce too much. A bit, bit. You know. So I put three to two point eight. They run it first, then if you do not get anyone, then you reduce to 2.7, then reduce to 2.6. That's how we do slowly. You cannot but, drastically but reduce, the, then there'll be a lot. The, that is that is in the uh, software what we are doing. Uh, in the in the practical, what we are doing, like when we are formulating the model, sir. Yeah. Uh, there, uh, when we are running the case, like uh, we are running the model with two or three explanatory variables, we get R square like something. Mm. So, uh, is it that we have to delete uh, what we can delete from the model? What I am saying is that so that we will reflect that in the like some manuscript as well, like in a paper or that. On the model, you can't really uh, take out anything. Like this is this is what I, you showed is that we can do in the spaces or that. Yeah, yeah. You can take out certain uh, responses that may have corrupted so, your findings, but you cannot out drop variables. Rest. If you drop variable, uh, you are square going to reduce further. Mm. So it could be a problem when we are decreasing the variables, then uh, then uh, we will face the problem that we will not be able to in, uh, draw, uh, uh, complete inferences, we can say. What is our objective regarding that? Yeah. Uh, the variable so that we have... It could be a misspecified type of model, we can say. Yeah. Uh, when you are dropping variable, your R square will further reduce, will not increase. Uh, Add-on variable will help you to increase the R square. Okay? Uh, Adding more uh, data, if you, I have now 150, if I add on another 50, R square will increase, okay? And the other way is dropping these outliers. Let me show you how I drop outliers. Uh, I'll just do one uh, quickly, uh, sorry. Uh, okay, I go to data, I go to select cases. You just see, please don't do it, just see me. If condition satisfied, if, then uh, I have case is uh, uh, 16. Identification number, then I put the sign, then I put 16, then I continue and I press OK. And then uh, when I go to data, uh, where is the data, SPSS? When I go to data, you can see 16 already taken out. Do you see on the left side? 16 is taken yes, out. Yes, sir. It's yes, taken sir. out already. So now I run and see whether you are square increase a bit. Huh? I just drop only one. And now I run it. And uh, what is R square now? 22.8%. Am I right? Yes, yes. Okay. Earlier was how much? 21. Okay, you can see I just draw one case. I already increased almost 2% R square. So if I reduce to 2.6, and then there'll be few outliers, I drop it, I run it. But you cannot go below 2, huh? the standard deviation. You should not go below 2. Shall I continue now? Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. All right. So this is one way you can increase R square. Of course, uh, the, the first one will always advise you automatically the outliers will be there out of three standard deviation. If not, then you can reduce a bit or you distribute more question, I collect data key in and run it again. That is also possible. Okay.